on this week's episode of Live Large. What's up, everyone at home? We're with Ben Pikowski and I'm Vince Del Monte. Rip it up tips once again. We're going to be doing Bulgarian split squat. Perhaps one of my favorite unilateral exercises for the legs. It really helps decrease strength deficits if you are in balance from limb to limb, which most people are. The only time you're going to typically injure yourself is when there's some variable of that exercise that's lacking control. You don't want to try access, access range of motions you can't control. Very, very key. When you train, you got to respect the weights. Oh yeah, season three, we're back. Welcome to Ask Vince. And our first question is, how do I prevent muscle loss when I'm sick? You know, here's the thing, weight training is the stimulus for muscle growth. So once you take that stimulus away, your muscles are going to detrain. They're going to adapt to a lower baseline, to a level of complacency, and they're going to be subjected to that principle, either use it or lose it. What are some tips to increase flexibility? I'm thinking of a lot of guys right now. Honestly, the most practical thing for you to do, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but for a guy, it would probably be to go to a class that's full of girls. <laughs> like you're obviously having a hard time complying, adhering to the stretching, primarily because it's boring. Get into an environment that motivates you to go and do it. I'm extremely excited to be tackling a topic that gets really skimmed over but nobody goes scuba diving with. We are going to be teaching you how to design and analyze your own weight training program when it comes to building muscle, losing fat, and increasing strength. We are going to give you the science and the tools so that you can make intelligent training decisions so that you can optimize the training process for your own goals. I'm telling you that this one model I'm about to share with you is gonna absolutely change the way you see your own training forever. My vision in life is to inspire people, educate them and coach them in all ages and from all walks of life to become the very best version of themselves. And I think what I do learn from these Olympians is they have some very fundamental commitments that apply to all walks of life in all areas. You see those, there's desire, there's uh, direction, there's discipline, and there's determination. These are four things that we can kind of attach ourselves to. Uh, to. Ten steps to a mediocre life, and i just like to fire these up for you. The uh, first one is tolerate average standards for yourself. The most successful human beings are wildly focused. 